لقد من الله على المؤمنين اس بعث فيهم رسولا now this ayah you should say that we found in the ayah surah al baqarah that is twice as big as this surah surah al imran it has 20 sections surah al baqarah has 40 sections we found this subject discussed in surah al baqarah two places what are the four main basic functions of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam how did he gather people around him how he called people towards the way of allah how he purified his their souls how he trained them and educated them so first of all in the prayer of ibrahim and ismail we read in the 15th section of surah al-baqarah rabbana wa ba'ath fihim rasulan minhum yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yu'allimuhum al-kitaba wal hikmata wa yuzakkihi then in the 18th section we read kama arsalna fikum rasulan minkum yatlu alaykum ayatina wa yuzakkikum wa yu'allimukum al-kitaba wal hikma twice in surah al-baqarah now you find the same subject here in surah al imran laqad manna allah ala al mu'minin verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done a very big favor to the mu'mins to the to the faithful to the believers is ba'sa fihim rasulan min anfusihim when he raised in them a messenger from among themselves he didn't send him them for them a messenger from outside the if the messenger would have been iranian you know the, the, the arabs would have felt difficulty in understanding what message he has brought then you know nationalities the barriers are there but allah subhanahu wa taala made the greatest favor to these people that he raised his last messenger the greatest messenger the final messenger of allah subhanahu wa taala from among them is ba'sa fihim rasulam min anfusihim from among themselves and what but he does again the same four functions yatlu alayhim ayatihi he reads out to them his ayat that is the way of dawa dawa through quran call people towards allah and allah's way through quran by quran number 2 yatlu alayhim ayati wa yuzakkihi and purifies their souls this purification of their souls is also through quran we shall read in surah yunus ya ayyuhan nas qad ja'atkum mu'izzatun mir rabbikum wa shifaa'u lima fi sudur o people it the the sermon and the good advice and i also the remedy of all the diseases of the heart of the soul they have come to you in the form of this quran so actually purification of the souls is also through quran wa yu'allimuhumul kitaba wal hikma and he teaches them the law the book and the wisdom the wisdom underlying this law the wisdom underlying this sharia there are two things ahkam do this don't do this then there is the wisdom underlying these ahkam why not to do it if you are not doing it what benefit comes to you and if you do it what harm will come to you for the, th- the things which are forbidden and things which have been given which have been commanded what benefit for you in it because allah subhanahu wa taala doesn't stand to gain anything from your observing the sharia it is for you for your benefit for your welfare so this these are the four functions basic functions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam laqad manna allah ala al mu'minina is ba'sa fihim rasulan min anfusihim yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yuzakkihim wa yu'allimuhum al kitaba wal hikmah wa in kanu min qablu lafi dhalalun mubin and surely before this they were definitely in the in manifest error in mistake they had gone astray they didn't, they didn't have the right path allah subhanahu wa taala has done them a very big favor when he sent muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he raised him from among themselves